Hello, my name is Sarah and I will be hosting Heart Centered Yoga today. And there's my mat. So <clears throat> I'd like to start sitting however feels comfortable for you. Feet can be pressed to the mat such as this or cross-legged is okay. Palms of hands on touching knees. Close your eyes if that feels okay for you. And you can begin to run your fingertips and palms up and down your thighs. We will be sitting here for about two minutes. I'd like to start off with Ujjayi breath, meaning inhaling through the nose. And as you exhale, there will be a sort of rumbling in the back of the throat, such as an ocean wave. So you inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose while touching the throat, while touch the breath touching the back of the throat. Today will be a chest and heart opening class. We tend to hold a lot of anxiety, stress in the chest and in the hips and many other places in our body, but we're gonna be focusing on primarily those two areas. A few more deep breaths. Breathe in to the top of your head and exhale all the way down to the toes. And when you're ready, place your hands to the center of your chest and begin to rub them together to create a little heat. And when they've warmed, place one right below or on the collarbones and another on the center of the chest near the diaphragm. Two deep inhales, two deep exhales. When you're ready, please find hands and knees. We're gonna do a little cat cow. Fingertips spread wide, all parts of the palm deep rooted into the mat. Toes can be tucked or they can be flat against the mat. Straight back, you can look at mine, for example, flat, flat back. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine, tilt the head up. Exhale, round the spine, lift the belly, belly button to spine, curl under. Inhale, drop the belly, stick out the butt, crown of the head to the ceiling, shoulders down the back. Exhale, round the spine, belly button to spine. You can begin to move around in circles in whichever direction feels best for you. Shake out the wrists, little circles on the wrists if that feels good. Switching sides, switching directions, just moving the body, getting warmed up. Sometimes I like to touch my butt to my heels and spring a little forward, just mobilizing and moving energy through the body. And on your inhale, you're gonna raise your right hand to the sky for a little chest opening. Mm. You can gaze upward if that feels nice for you. Stretching through the obliques, through the stomach, through the fingertips lifted to the sky. 
Exhale, place it down. Inhale, left hand to the sky, opening the chest. Ribs playing open, fingertips reaching the ceiling. Mm. Breathe in. Exhale to the sky. Palms down. Now I just want you to sit back onto your heels so your butt can be touching the heels or if it's more comfortable, you can be on your knees. And we're just gonna clasp our hands behind us, stretch our arms as back as, as far back as we can, either touching the butt or a little out. We're just gonna open up our chest. Hands will be moving, feeling like you're gonna touch the mat. You won't, or you might, but probably won't. And just lean right back, opening up the chest. Shoulders go down the back. You can drop the head back if that feels nice for you for throat opening. And if you want, you can begin to fold over, forehead to mat, hand, clasped hands reach over the head. Chest touching knees, arms reaching toward the ceiling. And when you're ready, pull back up to neutral sitting spine. A few neck rolls in one direction. Move the other direction. And when you're ready, downward facing dog for the first time. So. Like in cat cow, all of our fingertips are going to be placed <clears throat> spread as wide as possible onto the mat. And we're going to reach tailbone to the sky. Feet can be hips width apart, and you're going to be begin to pedal out your feet. I like when my crows, my toes crack against the mat. Long spine. Crown of the head is facing towards the mat. You can close your eyes or keep them open and just pedal out. And on your next inhale, we're gonna practice rolling out into a plank. So I like to bend my knees and then I like to give myself a little push and slowly Similar to our cat spine, we're gonna roll out into plank. Hold for one second. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. You can move as slowly as you would like, the slower the better, pedal out. Inhale, bend the knees as if you're going to jump to the front, begin to Curl the spine, roll into plank. Inhale, exhale. Bend the knees downward facing dog, pedal out the feet. Reconnect with the palms of your hand. They are what keep the down dog in place. Heels, you wanna try to have them touch the mat. They might never touch the mat, but that's what we're thinking about. Inhale, roll forward, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, bend the knees as you roll back deep as you can, downward facing dog. Two more, inhale to plank. Exhale, bend the knees as deep as they can go. They almost touch the mat. Downward facing dog, exhale. One more, inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. And when you're ready, we're gonna walk our hands one print at a time back to our feet. So we're in a forward fold. Your fingertips can be touching the mat. They can be touching the, sh the shins. They can be touching your quads. They can touch anywhere you'd like them to go. I also encourage you, I like to sometimes touch 
my butt, touch my hips, touch my lower back, just feel my body as we begin our practice. You can take your hands or palms to your elbows and swing side to side. And roll up vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae. We're gonna be at the backs of the mat, but we're gonna take a few steps forward to walk to the front of our mat. We're gonna start with a sun salutation A. So standing firm, feet, the entire foot is flat onto the mat. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold over. We're, we're gonna go through this slowly for the first few times. Fingertips to the mat, bend all the way over. Forehead can touch the knees. Inhale, fingertips to shins, half, half raise. Fold over on the exhale. Now, if you feel warmed up, you can jump back into chaturanga or for the first time altogether, let's step back one foot at a time into plank. Now, for an adjustment, you can put your knees down and this is still completely fine. And we're gonna do a chaturanga for the first time. So if you're jumping back, you're gonna jump back to this. And if you're not jumping back, you're gonna step back to plank, either lower your knees down, then lower down, or jumping back or stepping back to plank and then lowering in chaturanga. We never jump back into plank because it's bad for the skeletal system. So we're in a plank. We're gonna lower halfway down to a chaturanga push-up. We're gonna flip the toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shoulders down the spine. Exhale, flip the feet, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. Let's go through that again. Left foot steps to the front of the mat. Right foot follows it. Fold over. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Two breaths here. Inhale, hands to the sky. Lower fingertips down, sides of the body. Tadasana. Inhale, arms to the sky. You can gaze up. Exhale, fold over. Fingertips to mat, forehead to knees if they can touch. Inhale, fingertips to shins. Look forward. So you don't want to crank your neck so it's like this when you're looking. You just want to be looking towards the mat with a flat uh, head kind of facing towards the front. Exhale, fold over. So this is where you're either stepping back to plank, jumping back to chaturanga, or lowering your knees. So stepping back to plank, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna do this two more times just to warm up the body. Whichever foot you stepped back with, you're going to step forward with the other one. So left foot forward in between hands, step forward, fold over. Inhale, fingertips to shins, flat back, look forward. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, hands to the sky, seal it. Hands to side, One, more, two more times. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, fingertips to shins, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. You can shake your hip bones back a little bit. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. We're going to breathe for five breaths. 
Inhale. Ujjayi breath. Exhale through the nose with a tickle in the back of the throat. Inhale. Exhale. It should feel like waves crashing against the back of your throat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now you can continue to step forward or you can bend your knees and step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale. Flat back, fingertips to shins. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, arms to the sky. One more time through. Inhale, arms to the sky, gaze up. Stretch the center, stretch the, the belly. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, fingertips to shins, look forward. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, jump step back to Chaturanga. <clears throat> Inhale, upward facing dog. Dip the hip pads left to right. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths on your own. I will guide you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Knees to mat, child's pose. So, child's pose is great for the heart and great for the chest. So, and how to make it even more intense, if you'd like that, is you can spread your knees, toes touching, legs, knees touching the outsides of the mat. Crawl your fingertips as far as you'd like forward, forehead to the mat. You can feel this in your triceps. You can feel it in your shoulder blades. Some people like to stretch their hands out uh, wider. If that feels good, it doesn't for me, but people like it. Your chest, your sternum might be touching the mat. You can roll a little bit side to side or just simply place forehead to mat. Set an intention for your practice if you would like to. Think about what you wanna release, what you wanna keep, what you want to let go of and what you want to hold. On the inhale, whenever you're ready, downward facing dog. Now to determine the length of what your down dog should be for your body, a simple way to do that is to roll out into plank. And if you are able to go to a plank the way that you like to do a plank without adjusting anything, you can then simply Go back into downward dog, and that is the length that your downward dog should be for your body. So inhale however you would like to. Exhale it all out. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, we're going to step it in between the hands, bent knee. So we're in a low lunge right now. You can put the knee down or you can keep the knee up. You're gonna take the left hand, place it inside the left foot, turn the back foot down, right arm to the sky. Deep bend in the left knee, palm or fingertips to the mat, opening the chest, twisting the chest, right arm to the sky. You can gaze up if you'd like to. Sometimes I like to do a little wiggle or some people like to completely stay still. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
On your next inhale, warrior two. Left arm stretching forward, right arm stretching back, deep bend in the knee. Hold. You can gaze forward. You can shut your eyes. Next inhale, you're going to flip the left or front palm. Touch the right hand back to the shin. Reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. On your exhale, you're going to flip the left foot forward the same way the back foot. We're going to be in a wide leg stance facing forward. Same thing from before. We're going to take the hands. We're going to clasp them together in the back. We're going to try to reach them towards the tailbone, towards the mat. Open up the heart, chest opener. Shoulders down the spine, forehead touching the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you'd like to, you can bend the knees or keep them straight. Fold over flat spine. <clears throat> Again, sometimes I like to bend and straighten the knees a little bit, but always keep a micro bend in the knees. <sighs> On your exhale, just release the hands to the mat in between the feet. Move side to side, wiggle about. Take your left and right hand and place them. Left hand on left foot, right hand on right foot. You can spread wider if you'd like. Grab two fingertips to the front toes, to the big toes if you'd like, and just stretch. Feel it in the back of the legs. Feel it in the lower back. You can bend your elbows and straighten again. Two more breaths. On your exhale, unwrap the fingers to the toes, place the hands in the middle of the feet. Turn left foot forward back so you're in a low lunge and just wrap around again. Left foot steps back to plank, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, flip the toes upward facing dog. The knees can float above the mat or they can lower down for a larger chest. And instead of your shoulders being like here, you want them to be here. So you really open up that chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, right foot to the sky. So you can choose to open up and your leg will splay open and you can move around the hip. I will offer that on the next side again. Move the leg around a bit, circles with the knee. Other way. And then when you're ready on the exhale, drag the right knee, right foot in between the hands, low lunge. You can move a little bit on the back foot if you'd like. Take the right hand, place it inside the right foot, turn the back foot down. Open up left fingertips to the sky. Ah. Chest is opening. Fingertips are reaching that they almost touch the ceiling. Bottom fingertips or palm is on the mat. And on your next inhale, reverse warrior. Well, excuse me, warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Back hand drips across the calf. Warrior two.
And on the inhale, flip the right toes to face the same way the left toes are facing. Long triangle, palms clasp. You might want to clasp with the opposite hand you did last time. So if your right fingertips are usually um, clasping your left, maybe take the left fingertips to clasp the right and drag the clasped hands down the spine, open up the chest, push the pelvis forward a little bit and just drip back and then drip forward, bending over as if your head is gonna touch the mat, as if your clasped hands are gonna touch the mat, fall open. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And on your next inhale, place the fingertips, the palms in between, parallel with the feet, right in between, and just dip from side to side with your, with your knees. I like to rub my hands along my legs as I fold. And on your next inhale, turn the right toes to the front. Right and left fingertips around the foot. Step back into plank. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lower down, chaturanga. Nose touches the mat. Flip the feet. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. We are going to go through that two more times, a little bit faster. So two breaths per move. So I will guide you. <clears throat> Beginning with the left leg, and we're going to have an opportunity to open the hip. Inhale, left leg to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip, open up the hip. The foot can be kind of gazing behind the butt. Big circles with the knee if that feels nice, going one direction. Exhale the other way. Inhale, foot goes in between the hands. Left hand goes on the inside of the left foot. Turn the back heel down. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, left toe, left toes turn to the front. Wide triangle. Hands go behind the back. Inhale, drip the fingertips back. Exhale, fold over. Hands to the mat. Inhale. Exhale, fold over. Inhale. Exhale. Turn the front foot forward. Step back, plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One time on the right, and then we're on our own. I will guide, but you can do it at whatever pace you'd like. Inhale, right leg to the sky, right foot to the side. Open up the hip, hip it or not. Exhale, foot in between the hands. Take the right hand inside of the right foot, turn the back foot down. Inhale, left fingertips to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn the right toes, clasp the hands. Inhale. Exhale, fold over. Drip, drip, drip. 
Inhale, unclasp the hands in between the feet, parallel. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Turn the right toes forward, hands around the foot, step back into plank. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. Two breaths and then we begin. One round on our own. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, foot between the hands. Left hand moves inside the foot, turn the back foot down, right fingertips to the sky. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, warrior two, <laughs> warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Turn the left toes to the front, facing the right. Clasp your hands. Inhale, stretch them back. Exhale, fold over. Fingertips clasped tight. Reverse your hand position on the next round. Bounce back between the knees. Exhale the clasp. Release the clasp. Fingertips between the feet on the mat. Two breaths. On the next inhale, feet surround, hands surround the foot, left foot steps back to plank, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths. Inhale, right foot to the sky. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Low lunge. Right hand goes inside the right foot. Turn the back foot down, left fingertips to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, flip the palm, reverse warrior. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Turn the right toes inside, clasp the fingertips, left hand over right, right hand over left. Inhale as you stretch the shoulders down the spine. Exhale, fold over. Exhale, release the fingertips to the mat. Maybe the crown of the head touches the mat. Maybe you take your fingertips on either side and like we did in the first round, clap, take two fingertips over the big toe and stretch it out. Ah. We'll be here for two more breaths. When you are done, take your fingertips and move them to the center. Shift the right knee forward, right toes forward, hand circle the foot. Take the right foot, step it back into plank. One more chaturanga. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths, hold it here. Then a child's pose. <clears throat> Inhale. Belly button to spine, fingertips are spread wide on the mat. Each one shooting, each fingertip shooting energy out. You can pedal the feet or stay still, all 10 toes on the mat.
child's pose. Big toes touching, knees touching the sides of the mat if that feels good. Crawl your hands as far out as they will go. Chin or forehead to the mat or cheek if that feels nice. If you are laying on a cheek, switch sides. And when you're ready, you can sit with your butt touching your heels and we're gonna go into camel pose. This can be a little bit uh, intense. So I'll offer um, an alteration. I'll go through the full move first. So <clears throat> toes are turned under and spine, straight down, uh, hips over knees. And then you're gonna take your right fingertips and they're gonna be touching the right heel. You're gonna take your left fingertips, touching the left heel. Now you can stay here. So if you can't, if you can see, if you can't see my head, my neck is not going back. I'm just sort of in the pose like this. If, if my hands were touching my, my heels. So you want to make sure all five toes on each foot are spread out so you balance. And you're just going to grab your fingertips and you can drip the head back. Some people even like to grasp the toes or deeper down the foot. You're going to feel a wide opening in your stomach, in your chest, release your neck. If this is too intense for you, you can take, you don't have to touch the toes. You can take your palms, fingers spread wise, place them on the lower back and just dip back. Same way, shoulders down the spine. You wanna get as much width across your chest. You wanna spread that baby wide. Inhale, press it and your hands will kind of press your pelvis forward. Inhale, exhale. If you are in full camel, you can take your hands off one hand at a time. Sit down on the knees. <clears throat> we're going to do that one more time, but we're going to take our hands before, put them on our lower back, rub it out a little bit. Left fingertips to the floor, right fingertips turned up. And just take your fingertips. And you're just going to stretch it over to one side, leaning into the oblique. Some people like to keep their arms straight. I like to bend mine for an even deeper stretch. Just lean it over. You should feel this in your side, in a little bit of your obliques. Inhale, level out. So same thing, right fingertips on, on the other side, you can call them out or you can keep them close to you. You're gonna take left fingertips, palm facing up, lift it over. Mm. The longer your fingertips, the more energy through your arm you are getting, the deeper the stretch will feel in the side pocket. Exhale, release. Shake it out. Oh, okay. We're gonna do one more camel. So 
Again, toes are flipped, touching the mat, heels to the ceiling. You're gonna take whatever hand you'd like to start with, touch it to the back heel, touch the other one to the back heel, and you can dip your head so that you are facing towards the back wall. <sighs> Again, if this is not in your practice, you start by taking the right hand to the lower spine, right, ab right above or in line with the tailbone, same thing, and you press your hands in and just dip your head back as well. <sighs> if you wanna lean back a little bit more, you will begin to feel that in your thighs. Two more breaths. Exhale, fold over, butt touches heels, little bit of a closed child's pose here. Stretch the fingers out, give that lower back a minute. Shake it out. We are gonna go through two rounds of sun salutation B before we cool down. So. I will walk you through the first, I will walk you through both, but I will more slowly walk you through the first one. So top of the mat, <clears throat> you are starting into Dasana, big toes touch, heels a little bit apart. On your inhale, you're gonna sit back as if sitting in a chair, arms to the sky. I'm just showing you how, it, you're not sitting this low, but like this, you're in a chair pose, belly button to spine. Exhale, fold over. Toes, fingers to the mat. Inhale, flat spine. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, chaturanga. I'm gonna step back into plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, foot goes between the hands. The foot, the back foot does not turn all the way down as in warrior one. It turns at a 45, the toes are 45 degrees out. This is warrior one. So inhale, arms to the sky. You're in warrior one. So both of your hips are facing forward. Knee is bent, but your toes are not as far out as they would be in warrior two. This is warrior one. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, fold over. Hands surround the foot, step back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Same thing on the other side. Left foot to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, foot in between the hands. You can take the right leg or the back leg Step it out a little bit if that's more comfortable, then turn the toes out at a 45 degree angle. Then inhale, hands to the sky. So both of, where in warrior two, you're like this. Warrior one, you're facing front. Inhale, exhale, fold over. Hands meet the mat. Exhale, step back into plank. Inhale, lower down, chaturanga. Exhale, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Walk, skip, or jump to the top of the mat, fold over. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold over. And then just as we started in chair pose again, big toes touch, heels a little bit out. Inhale, bend the knees, sit back as if you were in a chair, arms to the sky. Exhale, stand up. We're gonna go through that one more time. So let's get our breath for one minute. <clears throat> Big toes touch, heels a little bit apart. Inhale, fingertips to the sky, sit back. Chair pose, inhale. Exhale, fold over, straighten the knees, fingertips to the mat, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back. 
exhale, fold over. Step back to plank, lower down into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Cuddle out the feet quickly. Inhale, right leg to the sky. You can open the hip, but when you're dragging it forward, you're going to want to square the hips off. So knee to nose, foot in between the hands. You can step the left leg out, turn the toes down. Low lunge, warrior one. Inhale, palms to the sky. Deep bend in that knee. This baby and this baby keeps the whole structure in place. Exhale, fold over. Hands surround the front foot. Turn the back toe so the toes are on the mat. Step the right foot back into plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower down into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal off the feet. Inhale, left leg to the sky. You can open the hip, but turn it back when you're stepping forward. Square the hips, knee to nose, left foot in between the hands, step it forward. Right toes out, turned at a 45 degree. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Warrior one. Exhale, fold over. Left leg steps back into plank, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. Three breaths. You can bend your knees as much as you would like in downward facing dog. And on your next inhale, walk, skip, or jump to the front of your mat, fold over. Big toes are touching, heels slightly apart. Forehead to knees, if that makes sense for you. Inhale, fingertips to shin, slap back. Exhale, fold over. Big toes touch, heels apart. Inhale, sit back, chair pose. Hold for two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Stand up. Arms at your side, fingertips to your side. Shake it out. Now I'm gonna face you, but at the front of your mat, you can make your feet a little bit wider, turn the toes a little bit out, and we're gonna sit down into Madasana. So your pelvis is gonna be like it's touching the mat, but it won't. Your knees are shooting in opposite directions or in like 45 degree direction, um, 45 degree angles. Your elbows are pressing your knees open. Your chest is opening up. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale. If you're finding that you're uncomfortable, I mean, A, this pose is uncomfortable, but, but B, you can move your toes out a little bit wider if that feels better. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the mat, turn the feet forward, fold over. And just as in the beginning of class, you're, you can clasp your hands around your elbows and shake side to side, bending one knee and then the other.
downward facing dog. We're going to get ready for pigeon pose. So inhale, right leg to the sky. Bend the knee. The right knee is going to be by the right elbow. Then you're going to turn the leg so that your left toes are aligned with your left hand. Wherever your foot lands, leave it there. Don't take your leg and move it around because that's bad for the knee. So you're trying to get your front leg as straight across as possible. Some people don't work like that. Whatever, as long as the stretch feels good and doesn't hurt, you are great. So back toes, flat against the mat. Inhale, crawl your fingertips back, open up the chest. Exhale, fold over. Crawl those fingertips out long. You don't want to be completely leaning onto the right hip. You want to stay centered. And if you're looking for more stretch, you can crawl your back leg back and you should feel it more in your uh, hip, your glutes. Chest is touching the leg, touching the mat. Let it go. Deep inhales, deep ujjayi breath. <clears throat> Connecting with, you know, imperfection for me. We came, we did it. Wasn't perfect. It's not the requirement. Whenever you're ready, begin to crawl your fingertips back to be aligned with your hips. Press yourself up. Untuck the back toes. Lift up and step back into downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. The pedaling feels really good after pigeon. Mm. When you're ready, left foot to the sky, open up the hip if you'd like. And same thing, left knee aligned with left elbow, turn the foot so that the toe, right left toes are uh, aligned with the right fingertips, set it down. So your left knee is gonna be closer to your left arm, your left toes are gonna be closer to your right hand. Wherever it falls, it falls. That is where it is supposed to be. Untuck the back toes, crawl back your fingertips, open up the chest, shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, fold over. Again, not leaning too far to the left, but trying to stay center. Feeling this in your left glutes. And on your next inhale, begin to crawl the fingertips back. Center, untuck the toes, lift the back leg, lift the front knee. Step back into downward facing dog. You can roll that leg around, pedal out the feet. Roll forward into plank, just as in the beginning of class. One last chaturanga if you'd like, or just simply fall to the mat and turn around so you're laying on your back. <clears throat> we are going to bottom of the feet touching, open up the legs. Close your eyes if you'd like to. I'd like you to place your fingertips <clears throat> first on your belly, on your hips, 
in the center of your body, wherever you'd like. Just begin to sort of rub around lightly. Don't press, just rub around. That feels nice. Let your knees, let your legs splay open and begin to sort of move the fingertips up towards the chest. Feel your chest, pet your skin, feel your bones. Shoulder blades to the mat. And just kind of rub your chest, rub yourself. And then when you've had enough, splay your arms open. They can be in a sort of a, either a T shape, or you can put them like this. Deep breath from the top of the head and shoot it directly into the stomach. Inhale, exhale, each inhale getting deeper than the last, each exhale releasing more. And when you're ready, you can stretch your legs out into Shavasana. You can leave your arms like this. You can put them overhead. You can lean them, you can palms up against the mat, wherever you'd like. It is all Shavasana, it is all rest. Inhale. Exhale. And when you're ready, you can stay here as long as you'd like. Meet me in a seat, moving your flesh <clears throat> away from the mat so that your sits bones are rooted firmly in the mat. Just as we started, palms touching the knees, rubbing the legs. Inhale. Thank yourself for being here today. Thank your body for its movement, for its limbs, for its flesh, for its taste. I thank you for joining me today. Hands to the center, begin to rub, develop heat. Place one on the top, one lower to seal your practice. Take whatever you need, give whatever you have. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you so much.